When he went into the hospital, yeah. it was really hard. He started getting all these infections. They didn't know if he was going to make it. Mm. He was not doing well. But I was just so wrung out that I couldn't even work. Yeah. And so I started watching YouTube videos, mm. and that's how I found you guys. And I was watching these yard transformations that you guys did. Yeah. Seeing you help people, it was very uplifting. It helped get me through that whole experience with wow. him in the hospital. This is Jim. Jim is a 77-year-old Vietnam War veteran and a custom motorcycle builder. Need I say more? Now this lady, yeah, behind the wheelchair, that's Joanne, Jim's wife. She reached out to us a couple weeks ago asking for help, and that's when we heard their story. So not only did Jim get injured during the war, but in 2019, he battled pneumonia several times, causing him to eventually lose his lung. Things can't get much worse, right? Well, in December, Jim fell and he broke his hip and his shoulder. And during one of his battles in the hospital, his German Shepherd tragically passed away, which I'm sure wasn't easy. Through his rehab, not only has Jim been determined to make a full recovery, but he has a wish to get a new dog. Now their yard has slowly taken over through the years and as you can imagine, Jim and Joanne are unable to get it back under control. In that yard is a dog kennel so overtaken by vines that it's really not usable. So me and the boys are gonna clean up the yard, restore some hope to this family, and finally remove every vine from that kennel. So Jim has a place out back to put his new dog when he's ready. And of course, we're gonna throw in a cool surprise at the end because, well, we're the blessing boys. Let's get to work. Oh my God. <laughs> so we will begin by tackling the bushes in the front and then work our way around to the side and to the back, ending with the dog kennel. Here are the tools we'll need for the job. A mower, pruners, a chainsaw, okay, two chainsaws, a weed eater, hedge trimmer, a blower, ladder, some gasoline, and a rake. I said a rake. Thank you. Let's go.
lot of what you see, just like you're watching, is us in the yards, in the tall grass, standing on the mowers and moving our bodies around like crazy. But what you don't see is the other side of these videos, the hours that it requires sitting at a desk, working on the computer to put these videos together and make them YouTube ready. This is the most excited I've been in a while to show you a product that we just recently received, the FlexiSpot E7 Pro Standing Desk. FlexiSpot is the sponsor of this video today, and this thing is legit. I knew when it arrived by the weight of the box, it was going to be a solid and sturdy desk, unlike the wobbly piece of junk I've been working with up until this point. This thing was pretty easy to assemble, not a whole lot of parts, but best of all, its height is adjustable at the push of a button. Now I don't have to spend hours hunched over at my desk while working on the computer. I can actually pre-select my desired height, push a button and boom, it adjusts rights to it. But Justin, how strong is this thing really? Well, not only did we put it to the test, But FlexiSpot standing desks have an extensive record of over 30,000 lift trials, helping them to shine above the rest of their competitors. So if you're tired of sitting at your desk without the option to stand, then you're in luck because FlexiSpot provides all kinds of standing desks to meet your demands. If you want a premium standing desk for daily use, you can check out their E7 and their E7 Pro model. If you're on a limited budget, you can choose their E5 model. All of them are great choices and FlexiSpot is helping our viewers unlock more savings today by going to flexispot.com. The link is down in the description and using the exclusive promo code blessing boys. Hey, big thanks to flexispot for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into Jim and Joanne's yard.
dad, the tarp stuff. It's uh, ripped. It's like whenever you try to pull it, it's ripping. Can you see what it's stuck on? Uh, no. Try I... and pull it from that side. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's going to tear in half. All right, we're going to have to hand move this stuff and then see where the tarp is snagged.
So we're gonna hit this section next. There is a lot of thick stuff in there that I can't get with my mower. So I'm gonna go in there with the chainsaw, cut down some of that big stuff, have you guys drag it out. And when there's only little stuff, I'm gonna go in with my mower and try to mow that down. And then we'll work our way around to the back. Is that cool? Yeah. Cool. Wow.
All right, guys, we've got 30, about 30 more minutes of daylight. And uh, we're really pushing it, but we are on the last thing here. Okay. Trying to get this cleaned out. This is the most important part of this yard. So here we go. Let's see if we can beat the sun.
did it. It's still light out. Hey. hey. All right. Oh my god. Finish that clean up. I'm just. I'm just in shock. Yeah. I just. <laughs> I mean, it all looks great, but that right there, that one. Oh, yeah. When we first moved here, I just envisioned this little flower garden there. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much easier to maintain now. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Good deal. We're excited. We're excited. That's why I was asking. I'm excited for a gym to... What, what kind of dog did he have before? He had a German Shepherd. Okay. Uh, she was a black German Shepherd. Mm -hmm. Her name was Hilda, and she got to be 15 years old. Wow, okay. And sadly, she passed away. Jim was in the hospital with pneumonia in July of last year. Yeah. And she passed away when wow. she was in the hospital. Wow. And I, you know, to hear him even talk about getting another dog is, that's that's pretty big. Yeah, yeah. So I just want to make it as easy as possible for him. Well, um, you know, we came here to do yard. And I know for a lot of people, yard work, your, your, your yard is not your only need. And so we're excited for Jim to get his new dog, and I know that that type of stuff is not cheap to take care of a puppy, so we actually have an additional gift for you. We actually have $500. Oh my God. <laughs> that we want to additionally bless you with. Oh my God. <laughs> to help you through the, this journey. And, um, and just to take a little bit of burden and weight off your back. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you so absolutely. Much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wants to get something small. Yeah. Something low energy that oh, yeah. he can take yeah. care of. Yeah. And totally whatnot. understandable. And so we're just kind of, we're going to like look around. And yeah. Take our time and absolutely. We'll, we'll know when we find the right one. You'll know one. when you find the right one. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Got, got absolutely. Hug. I'm hugger too. Oh my God. Thank you guys. <laughs> yeah. You're the best. All right, Joanne, you take care. Thank Tell you. Tell Jim we said goodbye and we'll talk with you soon, okay? What? <laughs> Thank you. This has been so great. Oh my God. <laughs> take care. Thank you. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, what do you think? I think uh, the island out there is just, I mean, you can see through it. I mean, uh, it's just, it just was a big clump out there forever. In the front of the house, it just looks so clean. Just, uh, everything's so neat. What, what do you want to say to the Blessing Boys? Oh, you guys outdid yourselves. <laughs>